Hi there, today I will give you a short walkthrough through the stacking process of your Astro images in PixInsight. We will use the script VBPP. It is a very easygoing script where you can throw in all your files at once and it will calibrate and stack them in just one run. So first of all, you need a cosmetic correction file. You can download it here from our website. I will put the link also in the video description. If you have it already downloaded or created one by yourself, you can just drag it into the PixInsight desktop and then we will open the script, batch processing, weighted batch pre-processing. So here we are, now on the bottom we have uh, uh, different folders. First we go to the light folders, then we will add all the light frames into it, then we will go to the flat frames, then we will open all the flat frames with it, uh, same with the dark frames and also the bias frames. I use some old RGB data which I shot with the Canon a few years ago. Uh, if you have uh, Astro camera you have of course the, the flat darks you will add them into the dark folders. They have the same exposure length as the flat frames, maybe from different filters if you shoot mono. Now on the top we have sections with our bias frames. You can check if you have the same values here, the same settings. Uh, I will go through also with the darks, check if you have these settings with the flats and also with the lights, here we have some more settings. We can go under subframe weighting uh, and choose a preset here. If you have a nebula or a galaxy or a cluster, they have some different values, but now I have a nebula, so I will choose this one. Then we go to image registration. You can also have a look if you have the same values here and uh, local normalization anyway fails uh, during my process so I will disable this one and uh, image integration average winterized sigma clipping and free free okay then we go to the calibration tab then when you click on one you can see which one is used so we click on the light frames and you see the flat frame will be matched to this frame and also the darks. And if I click to the bias frame, I'll see this will be used to calibrate the flat frame. Okay, so now we want to apply a cosmetic correction. It is now on auto, but we have here our own one. So I go to cosmetic correction, disable automatic and choose my template and apply to all groups. So if you have several filters with monocam or something like that, it will be added to all of your uh, light frames. Then very important if you have already color image because you shoot with the color cam, uh, CFA images must be checked. CFA means always color images. If you would have mono data, you would not have CFA checked. As next, we have to set a reference image down here. Uh, this one is like the area from the sky or from one of your frames, which you say, I want exactly this area, everything else. If you have some uh, different images because you did or something like that, it will be clipped away. But normally I do not like that, that something gets clipped without my permission. So I have a little trick here, which I'm going to show you. Uh, we close the script for a moment and open process, all process crop. Now we open one image or the one we like to have as reference. Uh, let's do an auto stretch and 
open it here in the selected window and now we add 500 pixels here and 500 here and click the square so now it added 500 pixel 250 on each side which will give us a new reference image and nothing gets cropped automatic but very important is that we save this as a new reference image standard values are okay just save it and now we can close this all and just reopen the script now we open the folder here and we go to the place where we saved our new reference image and open it and we also have to set an output directory where the script will put the final results i always make a folder that's called processing but you can name it as you like and this is basically everything we have to do just click run and continue and now it will take a moment depends on how many files you have how uh, fast your computer is and everything but yeah that's basically it okay after a while we will get this result everything seems to be worked out great so we click done and um, you have now in this processing ordner you have uh, several files you can delete basically these folders these are just um, steps between the process you don't need this anymore you can keep the registered files if you like to just in case you are going to capture some more images of this object and you want to do another stacking process of those already cal calibrated images and the new one but for the moment we go into the master let's close this here and have a look at the stacked file And if you do the auto stretch, you will have some strange color. This is just because um, the color channels are linked. You can unlink them here and do another stretch and it will look normal. So yeah, that's it of the stacking process. And uh, let's see us together in the next episode where I will do the processing of this image and i can assure you it is one of the most easiest processing workflow which there is i guess and uh, i'm sure you will also get uh, a good result of your image if you follow the step by step from the next video so see you there